Welcome Aries to your Astro Dice reading for January. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's get in here and see what's going on with you and your Astro Dice. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. New year, new year. Got the moon coming out. in the 12th house with some Aries energy. Very nice. Your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. Doing it Aries style over here. Energy around you is dynamic, a spontaneous, crusading, impulsive action is likely bringing in that fire energy. Love it. Okay, and Fair energy is great for you. Um, let's see, in the 12th house, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming you. Yield to the greater cause or power. Very nice. So, talking about this over here. Let's see, straight over here. Do what you want. Get straight over here into your situation. Your situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Message. We have the three of pen pentacles. I love that. It's just talking about recognitions and rewards. And having others look at you and seeing your emotions and your responses and the way that you're seeing your emotions and responses towards others. So it's kind of like they're seeing you and you're kind of watching them as well. So I love that. It's like, hey. So it does feel like <laughs> your inner emotions are very good around others. So really paying attention to others as you're paying attention to yourself. And the king of, or the knight of wands, excuse me, coming out upside down. There's a lot of manifest manifesting going on um, but there's also this thing that's saying I'm not as passionate about this as I was um, I do feel like I have my uh, recognition and my rewards um, but I'm not feeling as crusading right now as I did before because I feel like I'm in a good place wow wow because you've learned something um, really learning something about maybe someone some situation whatever was overwhelming you so it does feel like you're kind of taking a step back um, from a situation, but I like it because it's saying it's okay because my responses towards the whole situation in the beginning of the month is I'm recognized. I learned that this is where I should be. You could be recognized by a Libra or a Gemini or both. We have two people here, um, standing here really as well. You still could be impulsive. It's upside down to still be impulsive, but it's just not as crusading as it was. And I think that's just because whatever you're looking for, my friends, if it was a job with the three of pentacles over here, it's saying, I found the job that I want, so I don't have to go looking for something else. And I've learned that this is a place that I think is going to be very good for me. Yeah, you patiently planned this a lot with the seven of coins. Yeah, because you've put all your energy exactly where you want to be. This is going to have a great payoff for you, though, in the end. And let's go ahead and clarify on the Knight of Wands. Impulsive action is likely to occur since it is upside down. So it is talking about being a little over emotional. So having that over emotions kind of spring up over here for you. So it does feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little over emotional, but I'm feeling real good as as I'm going. I just feel like there's a little bit of over emotion because you have this person over here. This person over here has shown you that they're changing. So as you're being rewarded over here, you know, and you can patiently plan all the new things that are going on around you, it does feel like the impulsiveness towards your job is doing a great thing. If you're ready to invest any kind of money, you can go ahead and do so. You have the, the green light. Uh, but it does feel like you could have this Gemini or this Libra over here who is giving you a little of emotional um, unrest, I'm going to say, because they've changed. It almost feels like they've changed their mind. They're watching you. They want, yeah, they're watching you. They've learned something, and I think they've learned that they want you back, and this is what the, the change is. The change is I see you doing very well, and I would like a piece of that. 
I think that you're, you've changed in a lot of ways, and I want to come back. Now, look, we're getting ready for Mercury retrograde um, January 14th, so this could be definitely something that they're very much thinking about as how much they want you, um, and there's kind of this emotional upsetness going on within them, um, which is actually them coming towards you, speaking their truth. Um, if they do not speak their truth, for some of you, they will. For others of you, they won't. Um, they're just showing their emotional discretions against you. Uh, Ace of Swords in the middle of the month. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. So if they know that you already have a new love, um, it looks like <laughs> it looks like they know that they have a new love. And it looks like you're being uh, rewarded with this new love. Oh my gosh. But you also are keeping your emotions very good over here with whatever's overwhelming you. Uh, with the Ace of Swords over here. This is a fresh new start that you've been looking for, and your emotions are very good, and your responsiveness is very good. It looks like you've done a lot of meditating, and you're going to keep yourself meditating in the mid-month, so this is very good, kind of focusing on yourself and your achievements, but it does look like you might have a uh, little bad luck over here with this other person. If you feel like you have this new love or this person that you want within your life, it looks like this, wow, and you're trying to hold tight to them. It just feels like this other person's trying to get in their way. you got somebody manifesting you. And it could be this, if it's a Gemini Libra, it could also be a Capricorn. They could be trying to manifest you to come back to them. They want to get closer to you. They're trying to hold tight. They want to work this out, but they also might see that you have this Queen of Cups, who is your new love. This is why the Three of Cups is coming up right side up and that you're feeling emotional and you have they believe that you have found your one but they want you to escape them wow so in the mid month it looks like they might be knowing that you found mr and mrs right but they also believe that you're their mr and mrs right they want fresh new opportunities with you but they have to get towards the situation of what you're going to do with this new found love that you have it looks like they're going to try to do everything they can to try to separate you from that person now, here's the crazy thing. If they came back to try to separate you from this newfound love, what makes them think so, sh yeah, so self-assured that you're going to take them back? And number two, what kind of ego is that to even believe that if I destroyed someone's relationship that I would totally want you back when you come to cause drama and try to mess up something? That's why I think it's just all manifesting. That's why I don't think they're actually coming back. I think they're just going to think and try to manifest. <clears throat> because if you came in to ruin someone's relationship, what you, I'm going to think you're some hero for destroying my new, my new relationship with this new person I'm dating. You're not a hero. So I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what that is. That would be so over self-assured that it's almost, it's very egomatic for sure, because that would go to say that they believe that they're way better than the person that you're with. They couldn't be really a 100% narcissist because the narcissist wouldn't give a crap. They would just move on and say, well, too bad for you. <laughs> Narcissists don't do that. So this is somebody who has like emotional imbalances and emotionally some kind of an emotional issue. It could be emotional, what we call emotional immatureness. That's what these kind of people do. And then they have this kind of weird e ego to go with it. <clears throat> but uh, definitely I wouldn't say that they're a narcissist because that's not narcissist behavior. Narcissists would never come back because they would destroy who they are. See, because if they were a narcissist, they would say, no, because that would be against everything. I'm going to make you crawl back to me. I'm not crawling back to you. Everybody knows this. So I'm going to say emotionally immature and a little egomatic to go with it, to think that they're better than everybody else. High strung on a high horse. It could even be a, a piece in here that even feels like they might feel like they own you. 
an entitlement. They can come and go as they want and you'll always be there to take them back type of scenario. Because how else would you see that, my friends? Okay, so it does feel, but it doesn't look, I don't see any action because the action's all upside down. Like every action is upside down, so it's all manifesting within their head. Could be some even doing some actual magic against you. Love potion number nine, right? Not even kidding, because I have the magic card here, so I'm even thinking they might even be using trying to use love potions or something. Or going to someone who does love potions. Most love potions are failures. In fact, if anything, it just attracts all kinds of weird stuff. It doesn't, usually doesn't do, because we have freedom of will. <clears throat> freedom of will, that's why love potions are so, would be considered dark magic, because it would be getting rid of your freedom of, you know, your freedom of will. It's literally against the universe. Um, that will just come back to hurt them. More than likely, it's not going to do anything to you. That's what everybody has to understand. Don't go get these love spells. They only hurt you. They don't do shit to anybody else. They really don't. You have freedom of will. The universe is not going to allow some magic to come and take away what is yours. And it's evil to think anyways, right? Oh, I can't have you, so I'm going to put a love spell on you. You know, go find your own person. Okay, I'm telling you. Anytime I see that, it just kind of it gets under my skin. It's just like, really, are you really that desperate? That's called desperate, right? That's that's like soup. That's like you couldn't get any more desperate than that. It's like there's a million fish in the sea and 7.4 billion people on this planet, and you're gonna tell me you can't find somebody to love you? You better go look in the mirror. Check out and do some shadow work. Figure out what's wrong, why nobody else wants you. Oh boy, my friends. Two of swords. The emperor. Yeah, you've got the golden touch and Midas touch over here, and you have a lot of directions coming towards this uh, full moon. Uh, So it looks like Mercury Retrograde wants to bring back this crazy person. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Anybody who's going to, I'm, I'm telling you there's magic involved for whoever that is, and you know if this person would actually dig to that level, you would know, right? For others of you, they're just manifesting and hoping that you'll come back to them. Um, and Crosswatcher, it could be the other way around, right? And I'm not going to say that they're all crazy, right? I'm just going to say... One just really loves you and wants you back, and the other one's a little crazy. <laughs> Maybe a lot. <laughs> Sweating over here now. I'm almost like, oh boy. Okay, underdetermined. You still have this person underdetermined. Now they're not moving toward you, and but you're also saying, you know what? I know that you're there, and I, I'm underdetermined to even want to go towards you. I have the Midas touch over here. I don't have anything overwhelming me right now. I'm, a, you know, I'm sitting pretty in my own emperor spot right here now. You have a lot of opportunities, a lot of things going on over here. So even if this person came riding back on their horse, you're very underdetermined to even want to think about them. It looks like you already have somebody for a lot of you. You already, yes, you already have a new love for a lot of you. And you're just more focused on what you have and how they treat you, right? This 10 of swords over here, This Ten of Swords over here, you might actually now get the phone call from this person. This person is actually now with the Three of Wands traveling towards you. Now they want to come see you. Oh my gosh. Now they want to come in and show you their love. Now they want to show you this um, and show you how depressed they are and how they feel about you. It kind of gives you Ten of Swords though because it kind of makes you feel kind of down and out about them a little bit for the majority of you. But others of you, you feel like you're kind of in cage and they're making you, they're kind of pushing you against the wall trying to make you surrender to a love that you don't want. Um, with the King of 
wands over here, but you're keeping, once again, you're keeping your wits about you because you know you have the nine of coins. Look, you don't have anything that I want. I'm very happy. And a lot of you that don't have new love, you're saying I'm happy single, okay? And I'm doing very well for myself, right? It's definitely, yeah. It's definitely during this full moon of the 24th because I have the moon card coming in. So around that full moon of the 24th, it's saying yes, because you know what? I'm more focused on myself and where my dreams go. I'm not worried about what you're doing. And you're keeping that authority alive for yourself, really working on yourself and what things that you want to achieve, right? And guys, it doesn't even look like at the very end. I mean, you're very happy with the new situation that you have, right? If you have this new love, okay? Not all of you do. Some of you are very single um, and very happy. No matter what it is in the end, you're actually more worried with the full moon about what's going on with your achievements and yourself than you are the new love or this person who wants you back. You're more worried about what's going on with yourself. And, you know, that's very good, though, because it's going to keep you in a very good uh, balance and a very good self-reflective area um, for the end of the month because you can start to see all the things that are coming through, starting to actually you know, have a reflection of what's going on within your life that's keeping you stable and keeping you achieving the goals that you're going after and the goals that you are achieving at this time. And this does show that because you have the emperor and the king of wands, okay? And with the nine of coins, even if you're not single, it's also showing you all the rewards, right? All the blessings that you have and all the things that are coming towards you. Really worried about what's going on for the new year, then worried about all this stuff that's coming around you. All these people's drama, all this, that, this, and the other. It's like new love, that's awesome, you know? But in overall, I'm worried about myself. And sometimes we have to do that within the 12th house. And it's kind of taking that step back to say, okay, you know what? Everything's a little overwhelming. I need, just need a little bit of me time to kind of self-reflect on what's going on so that I can get my New Year's resolutions down and start really getting grounded and focused on what I need, right, for my life, okay? For my, what? Ten of Cups. And yeah, the new love could be in there. But, you know, this new love might not even be a love. It could just be, I'm dating. Love is a big word. You know, I'm in this new relationship. I'm in this new, you know, I might not be even in love with a person. I'm just dating. I haven't even, I don't even know them that well yet to say that they're a love, you know. Baby steps. Why don't you just find somebody and be like, new lover, I love you. No, it doesn't work like that. Right, so you're really just trying to work out all the little kinks and bumps that are going on is really what it looks like with the moon over here, really reflecting. Okay, and let's see what the moon has to say, talking about the full moon over here. Got these new moon cards. Let's see what spirit has to say for the overall message of the month. Overall, all you need to do is trust in the universe with the first quarter moon in Aquarius. So really trusting in the universe and knowing that the universe has your back and that everything that you're going for is really, you know, in your favor. But having the trust in the universe that, you know what, I put all my trust into you and we'll have this all work out. That way, anything that's really overwhelming you, that's pretty much what you're doing over here, though. You're saying, I'm giving it all to you. I'm reflecting on all the things and letting it go. And by letting it go is trusting in the universe. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.